Hi everybody, um, so today we decided to do two videos. There's this video that's going on, um, and I, my best friend and I, I was like, you know what, we should do a reaction video to this video that's going on. Um, I have the video um, on her phone right now, so let's get started, okay? You ready? It's, I'm pretty sure you heard about it and stuff. It's called Heart Babe Ask Why Did You Cheat? It's basically um, two exes come. Um, you haven't seen it yet. I saw a couple clips and stuff like that. But it's basically two exes that sit uh, next to each other. I mean, a face to face and stuff, and discussing about like, like why did you cheat on me? Blah blah blah. blah. So um, I saw like a couple clips and stuff. I feel like it was kind of emotional. So I was like, you know what? Let me just do a reaction video with my best friend and I. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, your face. I did everything. Like what? She's so pretty. I had sex with other girls. I did everything. <laughs> She's so sad. How would you feel if somebody did in your face? I like... don't wanna know! <laughs> we met in school, we met in college, um, we met in class, and you really didn't like me. No, I didn't like you at first. A couple years later. That's how you know. Like I didn't like, like you at first, then, you know? Complex. Red flag. And the first day we both moved there, we like met on the elevator again, and it was like a reunion. And then you offered to bring my groceries upstairs. Aww. And, um, so yeah, we spent a lot of time together. Like, every day. I would say that you were my best friend. Too yeah. much time. That's I know. <laughs> I would go through his phone. And I would, like, see text messages or, like, pictures. Is that for real? Or is it that for real? Girls. <clears throat> and I would ask him about it. You would lie and to say, like, oh, that's not true, you don't know what you're talking about. And you, you always said, like, do. Oh, I'll stop, but then you didn't. One time I went to his room and he had someone else in his room and he told me to leave. Oh and my gosh, yo. I went back to my room. Did you hear that? Mm. I think that happened like, like, to somebody I know. Mm. Talking to you, and you said something like, Did you hear the fact that? Yeah, he asked her to leave the damn room. What would you do though? And she still stayed. That's how you know. No, she didn't she stay. Oh, she still stayed with, with him. him. Yeah. Yes. Damn. Crazy that young love, man. That mm -hmm. was, yeah. I mean, I feel like everybody been in that situation, but it's just the fact that. That situation. Yeah, but the fact that you see it like. You know, you caught that person. I feel like that's just another level. I cannot give you a second chance. Like, if I literally physically caught you cheating, like you know what I mean? That's just <coughs> that's how you know she's a good girl. Cause you know them crazy ass girl. They wanna cut them off, cut it, cut it. <laughs> yeah. There was kind of a point where things weren't the same. Right. Just like you would always go through my phone or my computer yeah or, I didn't trust you I mean if you would go to that he's cheating to I don't to find whatever why why wouldn't you just leave leave I don't know I think I was like stupid how many times did you cheat on me That's a lot. Yeah. Back full of it. Watch this to herself. Yeah, she left the room because. Yeah. Once you say you was not counting, like, once you say that, like, you don't know how many people you slept with, that's just. How many people you cheated with, that's just, like, 
so disrespectful. She's so beautiful and like to have somebody that disrespected her like that and she just like you saw it happen. That's from the thing though. Yeah, like she literally did that. Like she's not like, with me just not being able to commit. Just sometimes we're, we're just we're not on the same page yeah but leave if you feel like that you know talk to the person there's nothing that you could have done differently that i think would have prevented it i think that you did everything that you needed to do to be a good girlfriend and i was lucky to have someone like you mm -hmm. i don't know what you had guy. till it's gone because he cheated i Forgive you. Forgive, but don't forget. Why? She has such a good heart. It's because just. Because you're my best friend. Oh. It was hard. I think we're like in the first. Stage of moving on. Yeah. For the first time that it's really over. Okay. I think, I think, I think. I, I you think what? Like, today I couldn't see, like, my life without you. But, I don't know. I feel like you hurt me a lot, so. Like I wonder if that's her first breakup. You know what I mean? Yeah, this should say first boyfriend, for first baby girl. Yeah. Or oh, oh, first long term relationship. Mm -hmm. Maybe in that one you think. I hope in the future we can remain good friends. That's another topic. To I don't think these exes should be friends anyway. Try to get you back when you get a new man. Keep me away from the next person. I can do better. No, bitch, you can't. She cries so much. Logan, I just... I mean, it was sad, but it's not, like... What they say when you talk about... They live in a more. different state, and they're still talking regularly. All right, yeah, let's it's talk about, about this. time they get to give it back together. Watch, they live in a different state, so um, long term relationship. Move to a new city for you. <laughs> what do you think? No, that? no, what do you think? Nothing wrong with that. Um, I feel like we all been there though. You all, yeah. like, I know there's at least one ex who cheated on us where we feel like, damn, like. When the way your personality right now, you probably like, oh my gosh! Like if I had that personality back in the day, I would have do this, I would have do that, and stuff like that. Oh my gosh, maybe I was stupid or something. But we all been in that situation. Um, well, but what pisses me off is just the fact that like he's he shows no emotion though. Like you see that? Yeah, I do see that he he's like. Then again, like I don't know what to say because it's hard talking about like what you done in a relationship, you know, like looking back and seeing how stupid you are if you were the one that was in her side and him probably hard telling her, Oh yeah, I did that, like, mm hmm yeah, I did, I'm sorry. Like I don't think he even mentioned I'm sorry in the video, but He said he's sorry. Yeah, but like what are you sorry about? I mean, it already like that happened. You, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. I feel like when something's already happened, sorry should... I don't know. It's not even when something just, just happened. It's just the fact that it doesn't. It didn't happen once. It happened multiple, multiple times. Time. Mm -hmm. And for you to... Usually when guys, like, cheat and stuff like that, they just lie about it and just cover it up and stuff. They will do anything not for, like, the girl to find out and stuff just because they know how disrespectful it is. Exactly. So, for you to... Um, you know just be so honest which is so funny because i always said that like if any of my exes were just being honest like be like yo i don't want to be in a committed relationship and stuff like that and i just you know i just want to date other people or i just want to date other this girl whatever then i'll be like okay i'm moving on but 
and he did that though so this is why i still didn't get him a girl like why did you just i know it's hard but, but what's his, she saw it though like, you know she saw I mean? it and then he came and apologized so that's the time she think like oh he's gonna change he loves me i mean everybody goes through that phase where you think like after this, it, it might be not cheating but like Maybe they didn't pick up the phone, and then they pick up and say, "Oh, I'm sorry, baby, I didn't pick up the phone. I'm, I love you." You're gonna be mad, but at the same time, you're gonna be like, "Okay, it's okay, baby." But that was, you know, a different level. But you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> and um, no, um, like, but, there's there's a difference between I'm, I'm very suspicious about okay, whether or not you're cheating, then actually, oh, you are cheating, and I. Just saw it happen all like in my face and stuff. So you know what I mean? Yeah. And he was asking her like, "Oh, if you had, if you go all, you know, through all that of going through my phone, my computers, and my emails and stuff to find all those things, why didn't you leave?" It's like instead of going, you know, hiding stuff in your computer, hiding stuff in your um, phone, and sending other emails or having different accounts, having different, you know, text me now kind of websites and stuff. Why didn't you leave? You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, I, 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 you know, the she loved him, and at the moment he's saying that like, I didn't love you. Yeah. Okay, but why were you wasting her time? It's like you're keeping her away from getting her husband. Mm -hmm. I, all that time she could have been, you know, going to vacation mm -hmm. with her husband, but no, yeah. she couldn't because you know, I do feel that sometimes yeah. a lot of men. I agree with you because a lot of men sometimes I feel like they don't want to be committed they won't, don't want to be in a committed relationship and stuff they want to date you know multiple people they want to be in an open relationship but at the same time they targeting like women who want that you know what i mean so it's just confusing because it's like if you don't want that don't waste my time because something's gonna happen you're gonna break my heart and she kept saying over and over you my best friend you my best friend now look that look what just happened you know what i mean Come on, really. I'm sorry. I, you, I feel like Shit. if you break up with somebody, it's you telling that person, I don't want you in my life. Except if you have a kid. I mean, like, <laughs> you gotta raise that baby. But if you just like, there's no strange attach and there's just like a clean breakup, yeah. I, feel I, I I personally don't think like mm -hmm. you guys should be friends because all best yeah. friend it, for even. I just feel Not like. Not that I'm judging anybody that are, yeah. you know, there's people that is good for you. Mm -hmm. You guys make it work, but. My best one with my penny. I what? <laughs> oh my gosh. I just feel like she should. I, I just want to know more information about this um, relationship. Was it her first time? You know, was it her first breakup and stuff like that? Because I do feel like we women, the first time, you know, something like that happened, the first breakup usually is the hardest. Once you get to second, third breakup, it's like, I'll be Where's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you. <laughs> oh my gosh. You would be like, I'll be fine. You know, there are like many great men out there. Many great men that are way better than the one that I had. They are people with, you know, the type of quality, the type of personality that I'm looking for. You know what I mean? So, like, sometimes, yeah, we are in love so much where we feel like this person is the one. This person is the ideal person. We kind of forget that, you know, this is life. Things can happen. That person may die. That person... <laughs> may i don't know something can happen to that person you guys can break up and stuff which means that you're gonna still have to move on because this is life you know what i mean you still have to move forward and when you move forward you usually end up dating somebody else so you know what i mean mm -hmm. so people sometimes like i feel like her she depend on the guy so much to open where like girl what you need to do is take a step back love go yourself. yeah love your stuff more you know, be like, uh, like, stay by yourself more and just be alone and get to know yourself because, other than that, because you can tell like how she like loved this guy so much where yeah. she like she's crying and he was just like, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, I heard you. And then she's like, you my best friend. But he has no. I don't animal. think like, your best friend should be hurting you that much. Yeah. I, I don't want to judge him just because like I don't want to judge um, him too but at the same time it's kind of like hard not to <laughs> yeah it's only a video though because we don't know like you know because that probably was hard for him too uh, anyway just to like see your ex and discuss this information and stuff it's just so weird but also too we don't know 
I'm not saying make them move on. Like they still talking, you know, different states and stuff, and you know they're having different lives. Which means, like you said, this first step of moving on is by you know I feel like by talking about it, yeah. by talking to each other about it, not and feel acknowledge the fact that yeah, yeah. yeah. So though she was crying, but there yeah, was no anger. But that's what like, pisses me off, yo, yeah. because it's just like he get out so easy. It's like okay, I cheated on you and. So what? Like you know what I mean? You're just gonna have to yeah. try and accept it, and that's it. Yeah. And move on. It's and like, then next. Yeah, I wish them good luck and stuff. I w- I wish her the best and stuff. You know, things happen. I mean, you from you learn from it, so next time it doesn't happen again. Not that it's it might not, but I, at least like sh- in the first beginning, she'll just mm-hmm. know not to take more. Yeah, we but all. What is perfect? Exactly. Mm-hmm. This is it. This is the video. Um, and we'll have more um, video um, regarding you know um, relationships and stuff um, I'm super tired we filmed like two or three videos today um, which was fun and stuff and things like that always happen and stuff like that but we just never talk about it we always just like it happened I don't want to talk to this person and um, and just move on and just never discuss this you know thing and then next you know it happens again and again and you have like um a situation where like many women kind of like end up blaming themselves they feel like they're the reason why like the person cheats and stuff and you could even like see when the video when he was like oh guess what you know it and when he was like you know what um there's nothing you could do you know has a girlfriend um for me it's just me i'm like the issue to add this is my problem and stuff like that you know you all a good girlfriend this is not you this is not something that you could do differently you know that's just how i am so a lot of women we blame ourselves just because of men cheat and stuff like that and then acts like oh is it because i wasn't good enough or is it because you know um i don't have this certain quality that he's you know he's looking for and stuff like that no because when he first met you the reason why you got in you guys were together is just because you had the quality that he was looking for it's just you know people change um people sometimes end up wanting different things and stuff and sometimes people think they want to be in a committed relationship and then when you know the relationship starts then they change their mind and stuff and the thing about it is just people just have to like speak up you have to kind of like if you change your mind about something just come on straight up and tell the person guess what i don't want to be in a relationship or um i don't want to be in a committed relationship i can't see myself being a long-term relationship and stuff like that just because i'm not looking for marriage or i'm not looking for this i'm not looking for that i'm not looking for the same quality that you're looking for or right now i just want to get to know different type of people i just want to date i just want to have fun i don't want to be in a committed relationship just because it stressed me out it had so much pressure and stuff like that you kind of have to talk about it um if you don't then it becomes not okay and it's just so disrespectful and saying I just feel bad for the girl because she's so pretty and she doesn't deserve all this BS. Um, you know, it doesn't only happen to her, it happens to so many women out there. But I'm just glad the fact that they get to share this, um, you know, information with us and stuff. So a lot of people who's watching who've been to that situation, so they won't be like, so they could, you know, get through it and stuff. Because it doesn't only happen to them, it only happens to most of us. So, yeah. Um, cheating is something that I feel like it's not gonna go away. Um, some people like cheating excite them. I don't know, but anyway. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, that's it. That's all I have. Um, I will have more videos coming up. So please um, like and subscribe. And um, for more other videos, go down in the description box. You will see um, different other videos that I make and stuff. So go watch them and like and comment and share. And just support my channel. And yeah. So, bye. I don't eat a lot of food. Don't you want more of that soda? Mm-hmm. Um, 
this shirt is gonna be in like three videos <laughs> oh my god A2P um I cheat well he do admit that he um Yeah. yeah. Um <clears throat> Scooby D says saying bye. Say bye.